this machine going. A lot of work. So I am grateful. Again, I thank God for the media team and uh, for the hard work they do and Tony Harvin and C Rock. Yes, I gave a, sh a shout out to you. I got your message. <laughs> I hope to see you soon. And if you haven't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Brother Rock, I want to rock you down in water. <laughs> in the name of the Lord Jesus, not just you, everybody. Amen. Who enjoy this program. This is the message for the last days, God knows. And it is quite obvious. There's no maybe so about it, it's quite obvious. Uh, do me a favor, James, tally up the list from this morning also and give me uh, that back. It is quite obvious that this is the message for the last days, the effect that God is having the world over. Gathering men and women and giving them the chance to hear his word, accept his word, and obey his word. <clears throat> We're living in critical times, spiritually speaking, and mind, heart's desire is the same desire that the apostles had, that all Israel be saved. For I bear them record, they have a zeal of God and not according to knowledge. Now I want to also remind all of Jackson, uh, Mississippi. Remember, God willing, we got to this, we'll be in your area, starting a new church in your area, God be our help, a new work. Uh, Elder Butler, Elder McLennan, I can't think of the other elder's name, and all other ministers from whatever church you attend, this is your opportunity now to make your escape one of the greatest days of your life is when you make your escape out of falsehood. You, you will appreciate it when you look back and see the knowledge that you could have obtained and you didn't. But more importantly, when you see the Lord and able to go back with him and escape the flames of hell, that will be the most greatest and the most victorious day in your lifetime. Amen. Amen. I don't miss and don't regret one second when God brought me out of falsehood. I have no regrets. I believe the word of God says, forgetting those things that are behind me. I have pressed toward the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. I am stable in it. Wonderful. And you want to be stable in it, sound in it, not in and out, in and out, in and out. You, you're going to go through things quite a bit. Bless God, but the best thing, the greater thing, God is that what you face, stay with God. You know, Jacob wrestled with the angel and the hollow of his thigh was knocked out of joint, but he kept wrestling. And Jacob was persistent. And he said, I won't let you go until you bless me. And I encourage all brothers and sisters to have that same mindset. Don't let God go until you get the ultimate blessing. What is the ultimate blessing? Making the first resurrection. Amen. There is no greater blessing, thanks be unto God, than going back with God. All right, you can give it here, brother. All right, we got more that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, eight in headquarters, seven in Orlando, Florida. Thanks, brother. Uh, three in Memphis, one received the Holy Ghost. Mm. That's a blessing. Three in Charleston, South Carolina, four in Del Mar, Delaware, <clears throat> four in Monroe, Louisiana, six in Atlanta, Georgia, seven in Detroit, four in Rocky Mount, two in Mobile, four in Houston, two in St. Louis, that's 54 more that was baptized, added to the first list from today, which was 115. So as you see, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, so sad now again, the Bible says of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. All right, let's go to work in the scriptures. Uh, Let's dive into the Bible. Let's open up anywhere. Let's go to work. In the book of Jasher, chapter 22, and at verse 46. All right, let's have it. 
And the day arrived when the sons of God came and placed themselves before the Lord. Yes. And Satan also came with the sons of God before the Lord. Every time the people of God is around, the devil ain't that far behind. That's right. Anything that's godly, anything that's spiritual, Anything that consists of the mind of God. You can start with those right over there, Brother Kevin. Let's raise them up right over there. You know, some of the folks getting warm. And let's give them some of the outside air so they can get happy and rejoice. <laughs> Anything that pertains to God, the devil is never far behind. That's right. Ever since he was put out of heaven, he declared vengeance against God by declaring that vengeance against God's people. Mm -hmm. Devil don't care who comes to God. He don't care nothing about who come to God. No. But he is consistent and relentless yeah. in his objective of turning as many as he can mm -hmm. away from God and against God. That's right. That's true. So you may be serving God now, glory to God. But uh, it'll be better when the Lord come and find you still serving him. That's right. Amen. You that have backslid, you know why you're still alive? Because God is giving you a chance to come back to him. That's right. Only an act of mercy got you here now. Yeah. I say like the apostle Paul. Not by works of righteousness, yeah. which we have done, but by God's mercy, he saved us. saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. My backslider, brother and sister, just look at yourself now. Think of it. You once was walking with God, and now you're out there like a wild fool. That's right. With the knowledge of God in your bosom. That seed remaineth in you. Smoking, gambling, dancing, just, just, just being a fool. Yeah. And yet, still living. Yeah. Don't get arrogant now. You know why God haven't cut you off. That's right. You know it. Know it. Even if the devil make you so hell bound, exalted, you don't acknowledge it. Within your heart, where the seed of the word of God was sown, you know it. Return, ye backsliding children. Hear this. In Jeremiah chapter 3 and at verse 22. Come back. Ye backsliding children. Ye backsliding children. And I will heal your backsliding. I will do what? I will heal your backsliding. I will save you. I will deliver you. Behold. Your backsliders, behold. We come unto thee. We come what? We come unto thee. We come unto thee. For thou art the Lord our God. That's what God wants you to do now. That's right. You're out there having a big time as you think, but the word of God says, she that live in pleasure is dead while she lives. While she lives. If you manage to come back to God, mm. if you manage to get back before that death angel knock on your heart. That's right. When you get back, you have to fall on your face. That's right. And give God thanks until you die. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Why? Mercy brought us here. That's right. In the book of the son of, in the book of Baruch. Get chapter and verse again. Baruch chapter 4 and at verse 28. The book of Baruch. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. And verse 28. One say, well, who in the world <laughs> is Baruch? Baruch is described of Jeremiah. That's right. Yeah? That's right. You'll find him in the book of Jeremiah, yeah. in fact. I believe about the 32nd chapter mentioned about when the, when the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah and how the king wanted to destroy it. That's right. And tore it up and threw it in the fire. That's right. Uh, the word of God came back to Jeremiah yeah. and Berich began to write. That's right. Begin to write right. what fell from the mouth of the prophet. Mm -hmm. All right, listen at this. Berich chapter 4 and at verse 28. What is it? For as it was your mind. As it, listen at this. Amen. As it was your mind. To go astray from God. To leave God. So being returned. Being returned. Seek him ten times more. 
Amen. Do you hear all this Bible? For as it was your mind. That was your decision. That I told you some time ago. You can't blame nobody when you leave God. That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, well, that, that brother made me do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I saw the preacher do something wrong. Now, why don't you leave your job when you see the employees do something wrong? That's right. In other words, no excuse. That's right. Will God accept? Say not though. Yeah, mm -hmm. from nobody. That's right. Thanks be unto God to leave him. That's right. Are you listening to me, world? Now in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15. No excuse. Say not though, it is through Will the Lord. Will God accept? That's right. From anybody. That's right. Thank God to leave him. That's right. Bless the name of the Most High. Hallelujah. What is that? Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 11. Yes. Say not thou. Say not thou. It is through the Lord. It is through God. That I fell away. That I fell away. For thou oughtest not to do the things. You ought not to do the things. That he hateth. That he hates. Say not thou. In other words, if you would not have done what God hates, you will stay with him. That's right. That's right. But what you hate That's right. is what you love. Yeah. Are you here, man? Amen. What you hate that pertains to God yeah. is the what you hate that pertains to God. Yeah. You know those things that God is against. Yeah. We love those things. That's right. And those things that God love. We hate those things. We hate, that's right. It's totally the opposite. Yeah. Paul said, when I would do good, he was present. That's right. All right, come on. Say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. Yes. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. Uh -huh. Say not thou, he hath caused me to error. Oh. Hmm. Don't pass the buck. Get that's me, right. get me, get me now. That's right. Don't pass the buck. Say Don't not. blame nobody else. That's right. Take responsibility for your own backsliding. Amen. Do you hear this? Say not thou, it has caused me to err. You're going to raise him up high. It don't hurt nothing. Come on, son, brother. Come on, brother. Get the stick and raise him up. Amen. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. These folks ain't ready to go to hell. <laughs> not with all this gospel. <laughs> no Amen. Hey, man, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Raise him on up. Amen. All right. In the, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15 and verse 12. Listen. Say not thou, he has caused not me. Say thou, he hath caused me. Hey, sister. Amen. Sister, you can't blame that brother. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I love him. You shouldn't be coming to church for him no how. That's right. Brother, you can't blame that sister, but Pastor Jennings, I can't help it. You shouldn't be coming to church for her no how. That's right. My God, salvation is a personal thing. That's right. Yeah. Amen. The Apostle Peter says, save yourself. Oh, yes. From this untoward generation. That's right. Say not that. He hath caused me to error. He hath caused me to error. For he hath no need of the sinful man. God don't have no need for a sinful man. The Lord hateth all abomination. What? The Lord hateth all abomination. You see that? Those things that God hate, our flesh loves. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And they that fear God. They that fear God. Love it not. Love what? Love it not. Love it not. Back in the book of Bayridge, chapter 4, and at verse 28. Says what? For as it was your mind to as go astray from mind. God. mind. Viewers, that's you. Amen. Many of you watching now, that's you. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I gave up on church. I came to church one day, and my bishop was drunk. <laughs> Amen. I just gave up on church and they concluded that all churches is wrong. You might as well just stop because that excuse ain't going to fly with God. No. Pastor Jennings, my husband was a pastor. When I came back, I came and I caught my husband with a man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. He still fulfilled the word of God. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. Someone, someone got to fulfill that wickedness for it to be written. Amen. Hey, but you won't be able to bring that excuse and say, oh, my God, I just gave up on church. No, 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 no. Thou art inexcusable, oh, man. You hear the Holy Ghost? You look at the Holy Ghost just robbing you. Romans chapter 2. Stripping you That's of right. everything. 
type Hallelujah. of so-called legitimate Hallelujah. thought you can think of. Romans chapter 2 and verse 1. What is it? Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man. Therefore. Hallelujah. You don't have no excuse, old man. Whosoever thou art that judges. Whosoever you are. That judges. That judge. For wherein thou judgest another. Thou judge another. Thou condemnest thyself. And you see all your bishop drunk. Yeah. You saw your bishop got a sex change. <laughs> your husband was the pastor and you caught him smoking reefer. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You saw the deacon. You caught him with the needle in his arm. Amen. Inexcusable. You ain't, you ain't got no excuse. Look at what God is saying. Therefore thou art inexcusable, oh, pastor, old man. What about the preacher that stole all the money in the church? Amen. I ain't going to no church no more. Lord. The Holy Ghost said. Thou art inexcusable, old man. Inexcusable. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thou art inexcusable, old man. After Jennings, I went to church and uh, they were fighting in there. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost said. Thou art inexcusable, old man. They fight in your neighborhood. Do you leave your house? That's right. That's right. Oh, I saw the bishop drunk. You got drunks all up and down your block. Why don't you move then? <laughs> Amen. Oh, the Holy Ghost know right where to hit you. Thou art inexcusable, old man. My wife left me, Pastor Jennings. I don't know what to do without her. The mm. same thing you done before you met her. Live. That's right. That's right. If God had your heart, when she leave, you'll stay with God. That's right. When God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, when God got your heart, uh, sister, when he leave, you're going to stay with God. That's it right. may be hard. Hmm. Thanks be unto God. It may be tough, yeah. and you may fall sometimes. Yeah. But by the grace of God, he'll pick you back up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost said rejoice. That's right. Not my enemies. Oh, yes. Thanks be unto God for when I fall, I shall rise. Oh, and when I sit in darkness, the God of heaven shall be my everlasting life. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man. I don't care what Hallelujah. I don't care what excuse you can come up with. That's right. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I got a job. First I was making like thirty-seven thousand a year. Now I got a job. I'm making a three million <laughs> a year, and I just ain't got time. Mm. For God, because my skill is in demand. My Lord. Talk your foolish, arrogant, self-righteous talk all you want. Thou art inexcusable, old man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Pastor Jennings, I work seven days a week. I ain't got time for God. Really? Lord, really? You ain't got time for God. That's an admission. You ain't got time for living. That's right. You ain't got time for God. You ain't got time to breathe. That's right. God is the originator of life. That's right. Hallelujah. We talk by God permission. Yeah. We sleep by God permission. Yeah. We wake up. Hallelujah. Bless God. We wake up whether it's the next hour yes. or the next day. Yeah. By God permission. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. We sit at the table. Yeah. Pray over our food. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By God's permission. That's right. Hallelujah. That's the way many of you think. Yeah. I got too much money. I ain't got no time for God. Yeah. Some of you so hell bound, arrogant. Arrogant. Church, church is for weak people. Mm. God is for everybody. That's right. That's right. Be a fool now. Be a fool. You be a fool. Have your fun while you can. Yeah. I be. I keep telling you. Have you noticed? Celebrities are dying. That's right. You celebrities ain't got no monopoly on life. Glory oh, to God. No. Are you that big of a fool? Amen. There's not a human under the sun mm -hmm. that got a monopoly on life. That's right. True life. That's worth living. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's God when you live a life offering yourself Hallelujah. a daily sacrifice. That's right. All that. Hallelujah. Thank God, an acceptable one to God, Hallelujah. which is your reasonable service. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 12. What is it, and at, and at verse 16. Uh -huh. And he spake a parable unto he them. He spake a parable to them. Saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Of a certain rich man. Brought forth plentifully. Brought forth a whole lot. And he thought within himself. He thought in himself. Saying, what shall I do? What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my I fruits. I don't have nowhere to put all these goods.
goods. And he said, this will I do. This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. Uh -huh. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Yeah. And I will say to my soul, soul, soul. thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Uh -huh. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. That's you, Muse. That's right. Sometimes they, they take that wine glass to make a toast. That's right. Eat, drink. And be merry. And be merry. That's your attitude. That's right. You see, the word of God got the attitude of you money lovers. That's right. Hey Amen. You got so much until you tear down and this is your mindset. Let's expand. And I will say to my soul. And then you get so much, you don't say I'm going to save my soul. That's right. You don't say at all. That's right. I thank God for Hallelujah. what I have. I thank God for what I accumulated. I'm going to serve him with it. That's no. Right. No. You don't I'll think that way. No. This is your thought. And I will say to my soul. In chapter and verse. In St. Luke chapter 12, we're at verse 19. I will say to that which belong to God. So. I will say to that which belong to God. So. Because God said all souls is mine. That's right. Yeah. So. So. Thou hast much goods laid up there for many much years. much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease. This is you. Amen. Let's chill out. Eat. Eat. Drink. Drink. And be merry. Let's just be happy. Have a big time. But God said unto him. But God said to him. Thou fool. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Thou fool. You're eating. Hallelujah. You're drinking. Hallelujah. You're partying. Ha, hallelujah. But God said. Thou fool. What do God call you? Fool. Hallelujah. 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 What do God call you? But God said unto him, thou fool. You can have a fleet of cars. Hallelujah. Have a mansion and 12 yachts. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Thou fool. What the Holy Ghost said. God said unto him, thou fool. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God said you the fool. This night. This night. Thy soul shall be required thy of thee. Thy soul shall be required of me. Then who shall those things be? All right. All that stuff you have. Now who are going to belong to? Which thou hast provided. That you provide. So is who he. Who going to have it now? That's right. That's right. Who going to have it? That's right. After God call you. Amen. That <sighs> death angel come knocking on your door. Yes. Hallelujah. You celebrities. And you that are not yes. rich, poor, black, and white. That's right. The death angel, yeah. he got a charge from God. That's right. And he's moving too. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah. But God said unto him. Funeral after funeral after funeral. You yeah. see him lined up oh, yes. every Saturday through the week. That's Sometime right. Sometimes funerals passing each other. That's right. One going west, Hallelujah. no God. Amen. One going south, no God. That's right. One going east. No God. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Standing at the grave site. Go ahead, brother. Pouring bottles of liquor yeah. on the coffin of your friend. That's right. Amen. Others of you so wicked. Yeah. Putting vials of cocaine yeah. on the coffin of your friend. That's right. Amen. Comedian died. Yeah. Celebrities get up and talk about how funny he was. That's right. How many jokes he cracked. That's right. And they get in there and start cussing. And they, uh, well, as they eulogize him. Yeah. Thou fool. And the only thing that is remembered about you yeah. after you die, when you die, how funny you was. That's right. Your name, that little star you got. Yes. In the Hollywood Walk. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Your name written in some history book. Yeah. What you invented. Amen. What you accomplished in this life. That's right. And none of the list of the accomplishments include the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Include repentance. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost is not on record in your life. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. But God said unto him. God said. Thou fool. This night. You a fool. That's right. This night. Thy soul shall be required of your thee. Your soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast now, provided? that stuff you got, who it going to belong to now? Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6 and verse 3. That's what? If a man beget an hundred children. Yeah, glory be hallelujah. to God on high. Hallelujah. If a man beget a hundred children. children. That means if a man live a very prosperous life. 
and live many man years. Man, hundred children and live many years. So that the days of his years be many. Uh, he live a long time. And the his, days of his years be many. And but his soul be not filled with good. Soul not filled with good, meaning his soul not filled with God, because there's none good but one, and that one is God. And also that he have no burial. Until he don't have no burial. I say that an Solomon untimely said, birth. I said that an untimely birth. That a dead child is better than he. Hold it. Hallelujah. God Almighty mm. is comparing a stillborn baby. That's right. To the life of a man. That's right. That lived and gained a whole lot. Yes. And yet that man died without God. That's right. A stillborn, mm. a miscarriage. Yeah. Is what? Is better than he. Better than he. A woman that have a child and a child not breathing. Yes. Heart not pumping. Yeah. Cold as ice. Right. Come from the womb, a corpse. Yeah. Your dead baby is better than a man and a woman that lived a full, prosperous life, right. but yet you died without God. The dead baby came here dead, now is dead in the hands of God That's and right. innocent. That's right. That's right. You come here, live a full life, full life. and then give God no time. You die, you're guilty. That's right. That's right. Hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this, stiff neck. If a man be a hard head, wealthy heathen. That's right. The word of God says. If a man beget a hundred children and live many years. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter six, we're at verse three. If a man beget a hundred children. Very prosperous. And live many years. Live a long time. So that the days of his years be many. Days of his years be many. And his soul be not filled with yeah, good. Yeah, your soul is not filled with God. And also that he have no burial. No, have no barrier. I say that I an untimely birth. An untimely birth is better than he. A dead child is better than the millionaire that's living with no God. For he a coming, dead child is better than the one that got everything he wanted in life but died without God. That's right. A child that's born dead yeah. is better than any king, any mm. prince, any queen, Go any ahead. president, any governor, Go any ahead. mayor, any pastor, any human that walked this planet that died without God. A woman that birthed a dead baby is better than he is better than you nobody can put it like that but god that's right that's right hallelujah nobody amen go and take god hallelujah, hallelujah. can warn you in such a way that's right thanks be unto god like god can that's right a dead child is better than dead he. baby yeah it's better better than it's he. better yes it's better than the rich man that's right it's better than the rich woman that's right it's better than a false prophet that got a mega church that's right it's better than that banker that got all this business and all this wealth that's and right die without god you bear in mind hallelujah woman if you birth a child yeah. and that child is dead yes. and you're not serving God, mm -hmm. your dead baby is better than your present day existence. That's right. That's right. Untimely. Amen. Every, Amen. Every woman. Go ahead, man. Who would thank God that ever had a miscarriage? Preach it, brother. Ever birthed a dead boy or a dead girl? That's right. When that lifeless body, bless God, came out of your womb, yeah. that dead child is better, better yeah. than that drunken mother. That's right. That dead child is better than that crack-filled father. That's right. That dead child is better. 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 That's right. Better. I say that an untimely birth. I say an untimely birth is better than he. Better Why? Than he. For he cometh in with vanity. You see, you came here wasn't worth nothing. And departeth in darkness. You come here as in vain. You die without God. You depart in darkness. Mean you depart in your sins. And his name. And your name shall be covered with shall darkness. Shall be covered in sin. Moreover, he hath not seen the sun. He haven't seen the sun. Nor known anything. Don't know anything. This hath more rest than the other. This hath more rest. Hallelujah. Than the other. Imagine Amen. that. Here's a child born dead. God gave him rest before he lived. That's that's right. Eh? That's right. God gave a dead child rest. Yes. The child don't have to worry about committing no sin. Yeah. The child don't have to worry about hallelujah, yeah. repenting and being baptized, being tempted. Go ahead. Time for the Holy Ghost, getting weak, have to endure, have to suffer, That's have right. to try to please God. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. This has more rest. You don't have to worry. 
Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Preach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preach it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Child don't have to worry. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's still born. Yes. Amen. Don't have to come up to nothing. That's right. Don't have to strive for perfection. That's right. Don't have to try to live holy. Amen. Don't have to repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, That's right. He don't have to do it. Amen. Oh, this has more than yes. said. That's right. And That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's dead, I said. That's right. Thanks be unto God. He's dead. Amen. Amen. But you come here. Oh, yes. Full of life. Oh, Acting yes. like a fool. That's right. Drinking and smoking and cussing and Hallelujah. out there all night. That's right. Running men, running women, Hallelujah. hanging out in the casino, hearing the word Preach of it. God time after time Preach after it. time. But you're still in your sin. That's right. Hear that child come from the womb. Yes. Dead. Resting. Bless God in the arms of God. That's right. Hey! I said that an untimely birth. Hey! Hallelujah, hallelujah. And then, yet you reject the counsel of God Go against yourself. Go ahead. What did he say? I said that an untimely birth. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. An untimely birth is better than he. It's better. For he cometh Before in his church. Now you go ahead and go to church. Go ahead. And play the devil and act like a fool. That's right. But you bad mind. That's right. A dead baby better is than he. better yeah. than a living, unsanctified mother. That's right. A dead baby That's right. is better yeah. than a living false prophet. Go ahead, brother. A dead baby go ahead. is better, better than a rich living man. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dead child ain't got to repent for nothing. That's right. Dead child. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Dead child ain't got to try to please God. That's right. About nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. I say that an untimely birth. The Bible says. I say that an untimely birth. God says a untimely birth. A dead baby. Is better than he. Better than he. You women that are watching, Hallelujah. that have suffered a miscarriage, Hallelujah. have you repented? Yeah. Are you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Have the, do you seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. You husbands yeah. who had a child that was stillborn, that's right. Have you decided to serve God yet? You haven't. That's right. Your dead baby is better than you. Better than that's right. That's right. Hear me? I say that an untimely Your dead baby. Yes. Mm. I'm warning you now. That's right. Your dead boy, your dead girl. Is better than he. Is better than you. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say that an untimely better. Yeah. Glory to God that just sparked something down in my soul. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Go man. ahead. Go ahead. A dead child. Hallelujah. Glory to God is better. Better than he. Don't have to rip, don't have to repent for nothing. That's right. Don't have to strive to overcome nothing. That's right. Eh? That's right. It didn't live long enough to try to choose whether to obey God or obey the devil. That's right. Amen. It just was in the womb and God created it. And God let it come out still. Yeah. Lifeless. Oh, yeah. God decided to lay claim on it. Go ahead. We can give the devil a chance to take it over. Go ahead. Hey, Go ahead. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We give it a chance to take it over. That's right. We can give the devil a chance to touch it. We can give the devil a chance to, amen, to violate the heart. Go ahead. Touch the mind. That's right. Touch the soul. Go ahead. God said, I'll take it. Go ahead. I'll take it over. Go ahead. Yeah. And when I take it, Hallelujah. it's better. Better than he. It's better. That's right. Hey. I say that an untimely oh, heart. Hallelujah. Go ahead take God. Hallelujah. How sweet God had it. Hallelujah. It might make you cry. Yeah. It might hurt your feelings. Oh, yes. You might wish that little girl would have remained. That's right. You might wish your son would have survived. That's right. But God got him. Oh, yes. You're a dead baby. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. If you never remember nothing else in life. Oh, yes. You remember this message. Amen. Your dead baby is better than he. According to God's word. Yes. Is what? Is better than he. Better than you. In Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 3. Ecclesiastes 6 and 3 says. If a man beget a hundred children. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Live, get a hundred children. Very and, prosperous. And live many years. Look at you. Hallelujah. Some of you are lawyers. Yeah. But your wife had a miscarriage. That's right. Some of you are wealthy. Yeah. 
But your wife had a stillborn baby. That's right. Some of you are big time drug dealers. That's right. Selling your merchandise in every neighborhood, yeah. killing families. Yes. But somebody you knocked up. Yeah. And got pregnant. Mm. The child came out and God snatched the breath out of it. That's right. God let it stay asleep. That's right. God knew what he was doing. Yes, he did. God wants to show you. I rule yeah. in the kingdom of men. That's right. Who God say live will live. Will live. And who God say die yes. will die. Yes. You see, God is presenting you death in a manner he know that you're too hell bound foolish to even think of. That's right. Look at here. If Look a, at here. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 3. If a man. If a man beget a hundred children. Beget a hundred children. And live many years. Are you watching me today? Had a miscarriage? Mm. And yet you're still a sinner? Yeah. Your dead baby, the picture you got. Yeah. And you're locking around your neck. That's right. On your mantelpiece. Yeah. That uh, container. Yes. You cremated it. And you got the ashes. That's right. The very ashes is better than you. That's right. Yeah. I say that an untimely birth I would say God is better I than say. he. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks be unto God, I say an untimely birth is oh, better than he. the name of the most high God Hallelujah. of Abraham. Hallelujah. It's better. Better than he. Think of it. Think of it, viewer. Think of it. You drinking now. You smoking now. Oh, yeah. You partying now. You're acting a fool now. Your child came into the world dead. Yeah. And God Almighty honor your dead baby. That's right. More did he honor that living man That's and right. that living woman who refused to obey him. That's who right. refused to follow him. Yeah. Who refused to accept the holy way of God. Amen. Amen. That show you you're not nothing. Nothing. You thought you were something, didn't you? Huh. Your dead baby is better than you. That's right. Your dead son. Your dead daughter. Better than he. Is better. Better than he. Give chapter and verse again. In Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 3. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. If a man beget a hundred children. If a man beget a hundred children. If a man is very prosperous in his life. And live many years. And he live a long time. So that the days so of his years be many. the days of his years be many. And his soul be not filled with and good. yet his soul is not filled with God. You ain't, you don't want to repent mm -hmm. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're too arrogant. That's right. Too high-minded. That's right. Too busy for the Lord. Mm. Too wealthy. <laughs> Own too much land. Got too many cars. Bank account too fat. That's right. Eh? That's right. Got too much jewelry. Got too much gold in your mouth. You so out there like a fool. You say down with God. Yeah. Down with church. And yeah. then you just take your money and throw it around and have a big time. And yet woman after woman that you have knocked up the hat baby after baby dead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dead! Hallelujah. Many of you shaking your behind on some uh, rap video. Yeah. You just had a dead baby. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Many! Go ahead. Had a dead baby. Yes. And your dead baby. I say that. Who I'm, you crying over? Mm hmm. An untimely God birth. God ain't crying over the baby. No. Huh? No. God ain't crying over the baby. And God don't feel sorry for the baby. God feel good. That's right. About the dead baby. That's right. And God said. I say that an untimely I birth. Said, God said. I say that an untimely birth. That an untimely birth. Is better than he. Better than the mother. Mm -hmm. Better than the father. Yeah. Better than that lying preacher. That's right. Better than that party girl. That's right. Better than that pimp. Right. Better than that crooked governor. Yeah. Better than every multi-millionaire. Better than every rapper. Better than every entertainer. Yeah. Better than every politician, whether he's Democrat or Republican. That's right. Everybody that reject God and still living yes. a dead baby. I said that an untimely birth. I said. I said. That a dead child. Is better than he. What you say. Mm -mm. What you say. I say that an untimely birth well, is better than you. Well, that child didn't get a chance to live. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. It's still better than you. That's right. You got a chance to live and a living. That's and right. still a living fool. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. A life that's not lived for God's pleasure mm. is a life that's not worth living. That's right. A 
Until you live to please God, you ain't never been a man. No, you man. out here bragging you a man because you take a gun and cock it to the side and carjack somebody yeah. like a fool. Like a fool. And think you a man <laughs> because you kick some woman, slap some woman, punch some woman, yeah. stomp some woman. Yes. And you think you a man mm. because you cut some woman out. That's right. You think you a man? Go ahead. A dead baby. I say that an untimely birth. An untimely birth, a miscarriage. Is better than he. Glory to God, I want to warn you. I want to warn you. I want this message to be thundered to creation. That's right. A dead baby. Is better than he. Is better than you. I got a uh, email. Uh, you heard over the news that the island, one of their islands in the Caribbean, volcano erupt. Yeah. Uh, first time it erupts since the 1970s, I believe the island of St. Vin Vincent. St. Vincent. Ashes, thank God, are just spewing up in the sky. People are running for their life. Running! Mm. God shook them and the mountain and make it vomit up lava. Yeah. People are being consumed. Mm. Amen. Some bodies can't find because uh, the ashes done consumed them. My Lord. Can't even find their bones. Mm. I'm warning you! That's right. Are the preachers all over the air, social media, radio and television playing with you. Yeah. This is that we're in the wilderness. In the wilderness of the world. That's right. Crying out like John the Baptist. That's right. Prepare! Glory to God to meet God. That's Hallelujah. right. You better prepare. Hallelujah. That's right. Blessed be God. Prepare! That's right. I'm warning you now. Yeah. I'm warning you. You can be puffed up and glory in what you have. I don't care what you have. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care if you land a contract in any area of life for five, six, seven hundred billion dollars. Mm. A dead baby. I say that an untimely birth is, is better, better than better me. than you. Think of it now. Think yeah. of it. Yeah. Think of it. Think of it now. Yeah. Think of it. Amen. A dead child. Is better than he. Better. What else did he say? For he cometh in with vanity. Come in in vanity. And departeth in darkness. Depart in darkness. And his name shall be covered with darkness. What? Moreover, he hath not seen the sun. Having seen the sun. Nor known anything. Having known anything. This hath more rest than the other. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's go back to the book of Berich. Back in Beirut. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Oh, yes. All right, viewers, you better get this. Amen. And man, we're not going to be before you long. God be our help. But I guess when I thunder this after you, Amen. it gives you something to think about. Hey, Amen. I feel better than I did this morning now. Wonderful. Oh, thank God. I got a good jump start. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's it. Be God. I got a good jump start. The, oh, yeah. the, the cables of heaven gave my battery a good jump start. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, Williams. Come on. Maybe it's chapter 4 and at verse 28. As what? For as it was your mind. This was your mind. To go astray from you God. You left God. That was your thinking. That's you right. You can blame anybody else you want, but the Holy Ghost had. For it was your mind. It was your mind. To to go astray from to God. Go astray from God. So being returned. So being returned. Seek him ten times more. When you come back. Amen. You better double up. That's right. In fact, ten times more. Ten times more. In other words, you got to pray more than you did before you left him. Yeah. Fast more than you did before you left him. That's right. Why? You don't want to abandon him again. That's right. That's right. What is that teaching you? When you backslide and come back, it takes more, it takes more. than it did. Before you left. That's right. To stay with him now. That's right. Why? That's right. Now you need God to kill the taste. That's it. That you accumulated. Yeah. While you was out there committing treason before him. That's right. You need God. Hallelujah. Amen. To attack your emotions. Yeah. Because there's things out there you got involved in. Yeah. Oh, it's take God that you love. That's right. You need God. Go ahead. To destroy your carnal mind. That's right. Because your mind now is dwelling yeah. on the things that you got involved in. Yeah. While you're out there. Did Amen. you hear the Bible talking? For as it was your mind, it's your mind to go astray from it's God. Your mind. You can blame it on anything <laughs> you like. Yeah. It won't fly with God. God won't buy it. God <laughs> won't accept it. Right. God won't go along with it because the Holy Ghost says what? For as it was your mind, your to, mind. to go astray from God. Your mind. Many of you watching your me mind. now. Your backslider. Mm -hmm. And then one backslider said something so beautiful. He he posted. He said, I'm a backslider. He said, but this is the first man I ever seen in my life. They even made me consider. Wonderful. Come back to God. Wonderful. Come on, man. Amen. 
Hallelujah. The devil preachers is not a devil preacher on the planet. <laughs> That's designed to even make you think about coming back to God. That's right. The devil preaches the design to fluff in your pillow. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, man, you get comfortable in your sins, he make your bed up. That's right. Tuck you in it. Tuck you in it. Hey, man, get you all relaxed and happy. That's right. Hey, man, while you're on your way to hell, smiling. Oh, yeah. He got you thinking you're on your way to heaven, but no, you going to hell with a smile on your face. That's right. That's right. We come along and snatch the covers off of you. Oh, yes. Take your fluff pillow and burn it out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. And drag you out the bed yeah. and tell you, come on! Come on back, yeah, to, back God. to God. That's right. Repent of your sins, hallelujah. hallelujah, and be baptized in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Come on back to him. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 20. That's what? For the bed is shorter. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Your bed is short. Then that a man can stretch that himself a man on can it. Stretch himself on it. And the covering narrow. Oh, your cover's too narrow. Then that he can wrap himself then in it. Then that you can wrap yourself in it. Listen, you, the bed is too short. It can't hold you. Oh, no. And your cover's too narrow. That's right. Uh -huh. For as it was your mind. As it was your mind. To go astray from God. To leave God. So being returned. Being returned. Seek him ten times and more. You got to come along and buckle down and really seek God more so you don't leave him again. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you. He amen. that hath brought these plagues upon you. Shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. It's a beautiful thing. Amen. When everlasting joy. Everlasting you joy. You know when somebody come back to God, they amen. can get everlasting joy. That's right. Shake the plagues of sin off. That's right. Those things that plague my mind. That's why you ten times more you gotta seek them more. now. That's because right. when you was out there and come back, mm -hmm. be prepared. That's right. Be prepared now. Amen. Lord, thank God because you 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 gonna be plagued. Oh yeah. You better give me the uh, the sixth chapter of the book of uh, the he figures quickly. I gotta dress them up in the armor. Yes. Amen. To protect them when they come back. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. I got I wanna dress you up in the armor of God because you need this Holy Ghost protection when you come back and you also need this Holy Ghost protection before you go out. In Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. All right. Finally, my brethren, Finally, my brethren be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. How much? Put on the whole armor of Lord, God. God, I want the thunder. You know, anytime anybody go to war, you don't put on partial armor. No, no. You ain't out there shooting with a rifle and draws. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. You out there with a gun and draws? <laughs> Amen. You ain't ready to fight? No. You need armor's protection. That's right. That's why the Bible says put on how much? Put on the whole armor Holy of God. Holy Ghost want to dress you up, mister. Oh, yeah. Holy Ghost want to dress you up, miss. That's right. Uh -huh. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What kind of character the devil has? The wiles. He's a wild of thing. W-I-L-E-S. Uh -huh. The right. wiles. Wiles of the devil. Of the devil. He have a whole lot of, he's vicious. Oh, yeah. He's dangerous. That's right. He's a threat to your eternal life. That's right. Uh -huh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against what? But for we wrestle not against flesh but and blood. But against what? But against principalities. But against principalities. Against power. Powers. Against the rulers against of the, the darkness of this of world. Darkness. Against the rulers of evil. Against the rulers of sin in this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high spiritual places. Spiritual wickedness. The devil's all in high places. In the government. In the pulpit of the churches. Wherefore, take in the Democrats, in right. the Republicans, that's right. in countries that have emperors and ambassadors, spiritual wickedness, spiritual wickedness, in high places, in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. All right, it's time to get dressed up. Amen. You that, know, when you backslide and come back, and even if you never backslid, we want to sure. dress you up and get you prepared. That's right for battle. That's right. Uh -huh. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the evil day. And having done all to stand, done everything to stand. Stand therefore. Stay at it. Ha that, Be that's consistent. Right. That's right. Stay at it. That's right. And Having your loins girt about with truth. Having your loins girt about. about with truth. You know, it's good to have your loins girded about. Oh, yeah. Be dressed up in the truth. That's right. Truth will support you. The truth will give you stability when you lack stability. That's right. Uh -huh. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. The reason why, look, a breastplate is for your chest. Yeah. You need chest protection. Oh, yeah. Because your heart got entangled out there with the things of the world. Right. And now you need God to purify your heart because your heart is full of corruption. And after God purify your heart, you need chest protection with what? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. You want your heart to only feel that which is right. That's right. 
right. because the devil going to target your heart and give you ill feelings and mm. make you fall in love with that which is related to hell. That's right. Uh -huh. And your feet shod. Feet shod. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. You no, know, it takes God to order your steps. Oh, yeah. A good man's steps is ordered by the Lord and God direct his path. That's so right. when your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, listen, you need peace in your steps oh, hey, because as long as your steps is full of sin that's not the God of heaven ordering your steps right. they are the steps of confusion that's right uh -huh. Up, and above all above everything taking the shield of faith wait a minute what class does the shield of faith fall in? Uh, above all what take, class does the shield of faith fall in? above all that lets you know none of none None Amen. of this armor is effective yeah. if you don't believe God. That's right. Eh? That's right. None of it. Above oh, all. God, if I don't believe God, my breastplate won't work. Yeah. If I don't believe God, nothing works. That's Amen. right. Amen. Now, my faith thing, God makes the armor stay on me. That's Lord, right. Thank God. Eh? Above all. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. Not the shield of faith. Well, you know, you know, you know when, you, when you got a shield, the shield is designed to absorb the blows. That's right. Above all, take the shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able shall to be quench able to all quench the fiery darts all of the, the wicked. All the fiery darts of the wicked. Notice it didn't just say quench the darts. It says fiery, fiery darts. darts. Let you know what the devil shoot at you. It's fire behind it. That's it's right. power behind it. And take the helmet of salvation. When you got faith, your faith will absorb the blows. That's right. And what shall we do? And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. All right. Go ahead, bro. Helmet is for head protection. Go ahead, bro. You know, I used to play football, Williams and I. Yeah. I used to play running back and wide receiver. Yes. Thank God when I when I get that punt return and start running down, hey amen, and my team is blocking me, but somebody just get through. Yeah. They get through and knock my feet out from under me. But if I see them coming down head first, I got to drop my head. That's hey right. Man, so both heads can collide. That's right. Yeah? That's hey right. Man, you got to have the helmet of, helmet salvation, of salvation because out there is buttoned up against your mind. Preach it. The Bible said to me, the carnal mind is death, yeah. and the spiritual mind is life and peace. Go ahead. That's why Paul said, let this mind Go ahead. you. That's also in Christ Jesus. You need God's mind. Yeah. You need head protection so you don't think like a fool. Go ahead. The first thing Hallelujah. that makes, that cause a per the first part, first part of a person that begin to backslide yeah. is the mind. That's right. When that mind starts to leave God, then eventually you become emotionally detached That's right. from God. Your heart starts leaving. Yeah. And then when your mind leaves and your heart leaves, what will on your body will be out there. That's right. You know, you can backslide and come to church every day. Yeah. So you need the helmet. That's right. Helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. Salvation means deliverance. Oh, yeah. You need the helmet of deliverance because you need your you need your mind to be delivered from your own thoughts. That's because right. You think like a fool. That's right. Eh? All right. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is what? Which is the word of God. You see, you need the sword of the spirit. Yeah. That, you, that lets you know the speech of God is sharp. That's right. It is the sword of the spirit. That's why in the false church, uh, they don't use the sword of the spirit. No. You know, they just handle the sword without the spirit. That's right. In other words, they handle the letter without the spirit. That's right. You see, when you handle the letter without the spirit, that's equal to a person taking the sword out the case and just looking at it. That's right. That's right. But don't cut with it. That's right. Because I know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Thank God. But when you take the sword, sword. of the spirit, mm -hmm. you got the letter that kills, and it's the spirit that quickens the letter right. that give it life. That's right. So when I take the sword of the spirit, I use it. Yeah. The word is called a, a sword uh, because we need to be uh, uh, dis, uh, disfigured, yeah. cut up, cut, up. cut down, yeah. cut away from, That's right. detached from, That's right. severed, yeah. pierced. Mm. We use that. With the sword of the spirit. Sword of the spirit. Uh -huh. Which is the word of Bring God. God word. Praying always. Doing what? Praying always. Amen. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Hallelujah. The Bible says be instant in prayer. That's right. Uh -huh. Praying always with all prayer and supplication oh, prayer in the and spirit. Supplication in what? In the spirit. In the spirit. And watching thereunto. Watch. And the first thing you watch is yourself. That's right. Watching thereunto. With all perseverance. Oh, perseverance. And supplication, and supplication for all saints. For all 
Paul sang. And for me. And Paul, look at Paul, said, don't forget me. That utterance may be given unto me. It didn't matter because he was an apostle. He knew he need prayer too. That's right. And that I may open my mouth boldly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Hallelujah. That I may open my mouth boldly. As a coward. Boldly. Amen. Wait a minute. That I may open my mouth how? That I may open my mouth boldly. Scared. Boldly. Scared of threats. That I may open my mouth boldly. Nah, scared of being sued. That I may open my mouth boldly. Scared of them boycotting out there in the street in front of the church. That I may open my mouth boldly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God have given me a bold mouth. Oh, yes. Amen. And then the apostle said, pray. And for me. For me. That utterance may be given unto me. That may be given unto me. That I may open my I mouth may boldly. Open my mouth bold. To make known the mystery of the gospel. I'm determined to do that. Oh, yes. For which I am an for ambassador in bonds. I am a representative. In bonds. In bonds. That therein I may speak boldly. Therein I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. Now, this is how I Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. You complain about my talking. This is how mm. I ought to talk. That therein I may speak boldly. That I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. This is how a man of God ought to ought talk. Ought to speak. That's yeah. right. That's right. He ought to be a bold preacher. That's right. Not some little cotton candy people pleasing, yeah. whip, coward, spineless, jelly back, no good, rotten, hell deserving thing. That therein I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. I don't care if you don't like me. What is that to me? That's right. I don't care if you don't like how I sound. I don't lose sleep of how you think. No. Oh, no. I'm the time to speak boldly Bold. until the sleep you can't have it. <laughs> That's Take right. Take the sleep away from you. That's right. Eh? For which I hey, am. Man, I want God to trouble you until he I break mean. into your night vision. Yeah. Hey, Amen. when you go to sleep, you wake up yelling about this thing. <laughs> you better right. give me the book of Job. Book of Job. So I can knock off. Yeah. Let's get by before this. I want God to plague your mind. That's you. right. That's hey, right. Amen. Uh, until God bring this message in your mind. Job chapter 33 and verse 14. Be quick now. For God speaketh once. God yet, speak once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Yet man refuse to obey. In a dream. And look at here. You don't want to hear this while you're wide awoke. Mm -hmm. You get mad and cuss and turn the television on and turn it off and yeah. turn the message on social media and turn it off and then, amen, put comments calling me a cult leader and <laughs> call right. me all type of names, call me an MF and an SOB as if that's going to make me lose sleep. Some of you call me nigger and nigger that's as if right. that's supposed to be a more proper nigger than right. as a nigger. For God speaketh what? Call me what you that's right. Hallelujah. You call me a coon. Call me a Uncle Tom. You call me whatever you want. That's right. Amen. Call me a European Bible lover. You call me whatever you want. That's but right. You going to come back the Bible? That's right. You going to hell? That's right. You just as sure for hell is already in there. Yeah. You bear in mind, out of all your talk, you just got the breath all in your little snotty nostrils. That's right. That's all you got. That's all you, you got. You just got your breath in your nostrils. Yeah. Talk your big talk, hypocrite. Oh, yes. When you you die, you're going to remember when you stand before God that you die without repentance, you die without baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, and you die without the Holy Ghost. Right. And when you stand before God, you're going to remember that the truth of God was the message that God put in the earth to connect you with him. But it's going to be too late now. Oh, yes. Too late, I said. For God speaketh what? God speak what? Yea, twice. Yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. And man won't obey it. In a dream. God said, I grew you in a dream and a vision of the night. When deep sleep falleth when upon men. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take off. Hallelujah. When deep sleep falleth upon men. And slumberings and upon, the upon the bed. God then it openeth open the, the ears of men. Ears of men. And sealeth their instruction. Look at him. He, he, look at him. He got so much love for your hard head, rebellious self. He see how you don't want to obey while you woke. That's so right. he's still giving you a chance, giving you a chance. While you're mm. falling to a deep sleep, God will bring the message that you fight. That's right. In your dream. That's right. In a vision of the night. Mm -hmm. When what kind of sleep? When deep, deep sleep. Deep sleep. Oh, you're in a deep sleep. Deep sleep. Fall upon men and slumbering upon a bed. Then he openeth the ears of men. Wait a minute. While you sleep, God do what? Then he openeth the ears of men. He open your ears while you're sleeping. What does he do? And sealeth their instructions. He bring his instructions. Instructions right while you sleep. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. God want to break up your pride. Yeah. Eh? That's right. Because he know why you sleep. 
you got a purpose. That's right. You be dreaming about your purpose. Yeah. You be imagining about your agenda that you got for the next day. That's right. And God come bring the word and break it up and plague you. That's you right. You hear it in your sleep. Yeah. Amen. I thought about a brother, amen, some years ago. He told me he was with a woman that he shouldn't be with. And, uh... And uh, he was trying to have pleasure. <laughs> Thanks right. be unto the Lord. <laughs> and uh, he said he heard my voice mm -hmm. right in his ear. Oh, no. Amen. Right, <laughs> right in his ear. Mm -hmm. Amen. He had on his birthday suit and she had on her birthday suit. Oh. And, uh, and I don't think the woman even knew about me now. Never met me yet. <laughs> but bless God, he said, brother. He said, man, I was about to handle my business. He said, and then your voice, just as clear as day, my Lord. came blasting in my bedroom. Mm. He said, man, you made me so angry. I, I, I'm laying there <laughs> and with her. And I started yelling, shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. And man, he said, the woman looked at him. <laughs> huh? And asked him, are you all right? <laughs> Huh? Amen. Well, right away, that broke the mood. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. That broke the mood. He said, brother, you broke the mood. Everything in me just deflated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Went down, I said. <laughs> well, you better off going down so you can't do wrong. That's right. Then go down to hell. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, Amen. that thing made me laugh. He said, Pastor Jennings, I speak the truth and lie not. He said, I had it all planned, man. I had the candle lighted, all the music going. And she was there in her negligee, man. I was in the room, lights was all dim. He said, the moment I got in position <laughs> to get ready, they go marching through the land. You come blasting in my room. Oh, he yeah. said, I yelled at the top of my voice, Leave me alone! <laughs> Ain't no woman gonna want to do anything after that. Not after that. Oh no, that woman think good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> And there is a man hearing voices. That's right. Glory to God Hallelujah. to the highest. Hallelujah. All right, son. Then he opened it to ears of men <laughs> and sealed up their instructions. God will get you. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he'll break into your dream. That's right. Amen. Let you hear the word of God blasting and you get so tired, you argue with it. Someone say, who are you talking to? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Word of God is in behind you. That's right. That's God warning you. Oh, yeah. Before he cuts you off, he's warning you. Oh, yeah. All right. Then he opened the ears of men. And he opened the ears of men. And still if their instructions instruction, that he may withdraw he's man from his purpose. Because he wanted to withdraw man from his agenda. And hide pride and from man. And get man from his high, exalted self-will. He keepeth back his soul from the pit. Wait a minute. Why is God doing this? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. God is doing this even while you sleep. He mm. bring the message of holiness to you to keep you from going to the grave Christless. Keep you from going to a Christless grave. And his life and from perishing life by the sword. And being punished with the sword. He is chasing also with pain upon his bed. Sometime God would afflict you. And the multitude of and his bones with strong bones. pain. Look at many of you rich now. Yeah. You're rich, but you, you, you can't enjoy your money. That's right. You can't That's enjoy right. your money. You need someone to bathe you. Yeah. You need someone to turn you over and wash you. Yeah. Your money can't do a thing for you. That's right. Uh -huh. So that his life abhorreth bread. Your life. You're sick now. You don't even want to eat nothing. God, take your appetite away. And his soul, dainty meat. Uh -huh. His flesh is consumed away. That start losing weight. That it cannot be seen. Because it cannot be seen in the bones. That were not seen. That was not seen. Stick out. Stick out. Yeah, your soul hey. goes near unto the grave. Look at you. You're traveling to the grave, and Mr. and Miss. And his life. You're traveling to the grave and your life to the destroyer. To the destroyer, your life is going to the devil. If there be a messenger with him, there it is. Hallelujah. In your condition, God will bring a preacher. That's right. If there be a messenger, a messenger with him, I'm in it. An interpreter, an interpreter, one, one among a thousand. You know, God can get one man. That's right. Or if they God and take that one and upside, uh, turn the whole world over. That's right. One among a thousand to, to show what the man is upright. His upright, show man how he should be. Then he is gracious unto him. Then God is showing mercy to you, fella, and saith, deliver him from going down deliver to him. the pit. God come along and said, deliver. I'm going to deliver you now. I have found I'm a going ransom. To the grave, I found. I found the way to bring you back. His flesh shall be fresher than a child. Now he'll hear you. 
He first shall, your flesh was falling off and your bones would stick out. Yeah. Now God restore you. That's right. Now your flesh is fresher than a child. He shall return to the days of his youth. return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God. Now he'll start praying. Now what? He shall pray unto God. Don't you think you need to do that now, viewer? Oh, yes. Don't you think you don't smoke long enough, took a crack long enough, ran the street whoring around long enough on oh, your dash pole long enough? Yeah. I was watching the news and they showed some heathenistic, Hellenistic woman preacher. My son, she's spreading a new gospel now. What? The gospel of Jesus Christ is being spread through pole dancing. God in the church with a pole dancing. What and she be up and down on the pole when she's spreading the love of Christ. How far out of hell <laughs> did you come from? That's right. My Lord, my one Lord. man gonna be thinking about Jesus, <laughs> and here's a woman on the pole, one leg wrapped around it, one <laughs> arm another way, one leg another way. She come down spiraling. <laughs> that man called Jesus. It won't be because he want the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 God. Am I right, I said? That's right. <laughs> if, that, <laughs> if that man called Jesus, I guarantee it won't be. Because he's seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. Not at all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man, Hallelujah. A pole dancer. Amen. And she all well put together. Mm. And she to my son, I'm coming down now to bring you to Christ. Oh, he's going to say Jesus. <laughs> yes, he will. Oh, yes. He's going to say Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. That's right. But it won't be for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you bear that in mind. Hallelujah. You take your pole and knock it down now or donate it to a fire department That's and right. stop being a fool That's and right. make a mockery of God. Yeah. You know, the devil really is in hell going business. Oh, yes. Huh? He well, the devil's really sending folk to hell. You fall for anything that's so foolish. Foolish. All right, son, real quick so I can knock off. He shall pray unto God and he will be favorable unto him. Yes. And he shall see his face with joy. That's what I want to do. Oh, yes. Hey Amen. I want to see my his face, face, face with joy. With joy. For he will render unto man uh, his Lord righteousness. He's going to render to man his righteousness. What's right? He looketh upon men. He look upon men. And if any say, I have sinned and, and perverted that which was say, right. If any say, I have sinned. I have sinned. And perverted that which was right. And if he pervert that which is right. And it profited me not. And don't gain nothing. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit. Do you hear this, viewer? Amen. Viewer. By God's permission, I'm bringing you a message that'll do what for your soul? He will deliver his soul. This will deliver your soul. From going into the pit. So you don't go to that everlasting lake of fire. Do you want to burn? Hallelujah. Are you that tough? Mm. Are you that mean? Or you think you're that cute? Mm. You got those many curves that you want the flames of hell to wrap around your hips? That's right. You will understand. Oh, yes. A day will come that you will remember. Yeah. That this message was being preached in the earth as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of John the Baptist. That's right. These are the last days. That's right. And holiness is the message. Yes. For the last days. Give me Acts 238. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Before you read Acts 238, let's remind them what the book of Baruch said. Back in Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28. For, I, for as it was your mind, it was your mind to go astray from God, to leave God. So being returned, so being returned, seek him ten times seek more. Him. Come on, backslider. Come on now. That's right. Come on. Being returned. Come on. That's right. I don't care if your white is dough, mm. black is the street until it look like a shadow with a suit on. That's right. Come on. That's right. You come on, Mister and Miss. I don't care nothing about how much money you got. No. Come on. You better get this thing right before you die, before you die, because when you die or while you're dying, you can call your priest. Oh, yeah. Let him come on to the hospital, come to your house and read you your so-called last rites. That's right. Let him walk around your bed with the smoke like you're trying to turn you to smoke turkey. <laughs> Let them throw water around your bed. Yeah. Uh, and speak Latin. This can do nothing for you. That's right. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. This basis of smoke can do nothing for you. You bear that in mind. That's right. God. 
<laughs> you bear that in mind. That basin of smoke ain't no worth nothing. Worth nothing. You die without God, brother and sister, your mama, your daddy. You're going to stand before the judgment seat of God. That's right. And when you stand before God, you're going to find out Pope Francis and all them so-called dead saints <laughs> couldn't do a thing That's right. to keep you out of hell. That's right. Then Peter! Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, hard head, arrogant, self-righteous thing out there. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Man, if you get so mad, well, you know what? I see a touch of arrogance. <laughs> he don't have no love. That's what they say about you. You old little weak thing. You might as well man up and woman up. That's right. I'm not sent to pet you. No. Your pastor give you enough of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sent to give you sugar. You already a sugar baby. That's right. I'm sent to give you a hardcore Bible. That's right. Hardcore bare knuckle Bible. Amen. Take it or go to hell. That's right. That's and right. That's right. That's it. Amen. Take it or go to hell. Yeah. Because you going. <laughs> what did the Holy Ghost say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, surrender. Oh, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Big. Mm -hmm. Mr. Big Stuff, who you think you are? <laughs> that's right. You better come on back to the Bible now. Amen. Huh? Repent. And be baptized. Be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. Hey, gambler, pool player, rice do uh, dice roller. Dice. Car dealer. Amen. Neighborhood crack dealer. Yeah. You think you're getting away because you got a, that drawer and that trunk in your car full of money? <laughs> you ain't getting away with nothing. No, no. Some of you so foolish, you ain't got no license. Just keep buying a bunch of used cars and then just park them on the block. <laughs> you're so silly. That's right. You're so silly. <laughs> ain't got no license. You can't, you can't even drive. Mm -hmm. Just buy a bunch of old used cars, park them on the block, and turn the radio in all of them. Yeah. And then just sit in them and smoke weed. Oh, You're my Lord. fool. That's a fool. Use a fool. Amen. Use a good fool. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. You better come on now and hear the old man. Now, I know you don't like me. I know you don't. Oh, yeah. I know you don't like this because it's not a preacher on any form of media that get under your skin with the word of God. That's right. This message is designed not just to get under your skin, but cut it open. Cut it open. I want to cut it open and pull the salt of the scriptures in there That's and right. make it burn. That's right. Or it's God until you just got to get up and move to water. That's right. Eh? Amen. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Be sorry about being a fool. And be baptized, be baptized every one of you, one of you in, the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of to sins. Get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Remember now, Mr. and Miss Big. Hmm. A dead baby. And there's millions of you watching me. Yeah. You had a miscarriage. Had a miscarriage. You had a miscarriage. Right. You just had one last night. Yeah. You just had one yesterday. Yeah. You just had one last week. Amen. You just had one last month. That's right. You just had one last year. Yeah. And That's you're right. still a sinner. Yeah. God says. I say that an untimely your birth. dead baby. Is better than he. A white woman. Mm. Black woman. Yellow woman. Red woman, brown woman. Go ahead. God said. I say that an untimely birth. Your dead baby. Is better than he. Hey, false prophet. Amen. Hey, millionaire. Yeah. Hey, judge. Hey, lawyer. Yeah. Hey, Democrat. Hey, Republican. Hey, talk show host. Hey, television owner. Preach it. The Holy Ghost said. I say that. God an, said. I say that an untimely birth. You grieved right now. Is better than he. You somewhere crying right now. Yeah. Because your baby just fell out of your body into a toilet. That's right. Preach. But God said. I say that an untimely birth is better than he. Here after your baby come out dead. Hallelujah. You grieve. Yes. And flush your soul with alcohol. Mm. Get drunk. Party. Dance and get some cheap priest that got his collar like he believed the Bible backward. That's right. With no God. That's right. Mm. You want to experience true happiness? Obey God. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Anybody want to be baptized tonight in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. Wonderful. You that are standing, come on to the front now. You that are standing. 
Amen. Wonderful. That's, it's all good, isn't it? Amen. You don't hear nothing like this being thundered nowhere. No, no. This thing touch everything. That's right. God wants you to think deeper than you ever thought. That's right. You sit and look at these mega false prophets and then you sit around and make it happy and feel good and jolly about your sins. Amen. That's right. Amen. There are repercussions. And I'm telling you right now, to avoid those repercussions, the Bible said, repent and be baptized every one of you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, you heard it. See rock smooth. <laughs> I hope you come visit me soon. If yeah. you haven't been baptized, rock, I want to take you down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins and be baptized in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not only see rock, everybody that's here at this program and watch it. These are the last days. This program is not over the air just for you to enjoy it. No. But you got to obey it. Right. You see the world coming to an end. You see the chaos all over creation. Right here in Philadelphia alone, these young, sick, wild, young people killing each other for nothing. That's right. Murdering out here in the street, killing women, killing babies, young boys murdering each other. Yeah. There's a universal hate for God. That's right. The world ain't gonna never get right, right. until they get on God's side. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Tune in again. Next week, God willing, we will be in Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, we'll be there shooting it from the ground while it's falling from the air. Jackson, Mississippi, time's up. Leave your church. <laughs> That's right. Leave your church now. Leave your church now. That's if you right. do it now, you ain't got to run back because you forgot something. Leave your church. Don't let your preacher offer you a position like a pimp off a whole $2. That's right. Eh? That's I right. say don't let your preacher offer you a position or a little ordination position like a pimp off a whole $2. Amen. That's how cheap your position is. Yeah. You get right with God and obey this for the salvation of your soul. You know, I feel stronger now than I did <laughs> this morning. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I fill it all down in my sanctified self. Hallelujah. All right. Let us all stand. Amen. Brother Minister Williams, we'll close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for that good word. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God. We thank you for how you gave him strength. Father God, to declare the gospel of truth. Father God, continue to strengthen him and bless him and help him, O oh God, by your spirit. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for allowing us to hear the sweet word of God. We thank you, Father God, for the truth of the gospel. My God, we thank you, Father God, for this treasure. My God, that you allowed us to hear. My God, look down upon those that may have not yet repented. Bless them that they may repent of their sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, now we thank you for everything that you've been to us. And we thank you, Father God, for all that you've done for us. My God, we do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.